Welcome to Robert Land. That's right, your favorite not safe work comedy theme park podcast. I'm your host, Robert Thompson. And here's our co host, Roscoe Soul Train. Wow, man, I was just mouthing that whole thing that you were doing. <laughs> Fucking A. It's like I would. It's like I edit the episodes and I listen to them afterwards. <laughs> wow. Well, Jeez. dude, I'm excited, man. Well, while you guys are waiting for season two to arrive, we've got a sneak preview for season two. And this sneak preview is from an episode where we talk all about the Jungle Cruise. Yeah, man, it's going to actually be our season one. Uh, or, no, yeah, I'm sorry, se- our season, season two, two, episode one. one. That's yeah, right. With Javi. Yeah. Javi Bruce. Yeah, dude. Javi Gonzalez. He is. Uh, a uh, dear friend of our old friend, uh, old pal, Mr. Ryan D, and uh, fucking great guy. We talk all about what it is to be a Jungle Cruise skipper. Yep, because he was one. Yeah. And, but you uh, know what? Speaking on the Jungle Cruise, you just went and saw the movie. I did. I just went and saw it at my house. And, um, yeah. Oh, did you watch it at home? <laughs> I did. I watched it at home. Okay, cool. It was a nice $30 of- uh, Fuck it, dude. Yeah, dude. I, I, I had to see this movie. It's mm-hmm. the Jungle Cruise movie. We have a podcast all about theme parks- Disneyland, huge deal. Jungle Cruise, I okay. one of the best rides at well at Disneyland. Yes, one and of the, Walt Disney World. Yeah, one of the, it's one of the most classic rides. There's an opening day attraction, um, and you know the movie. I feel like um, you know it's. What did you think of the movie? Sir? I didn't see it, man. Oh, you didn't get to see it? No, I, I'm gonna see it soon. Okay, I'd like to go to a theater to watch it. Yeah, I think it's I think it's a movie to see in the theater for sure because it's a big popcorn movie. Yeah. Like I wouldn't say you know there's there's uh, Apocalypse Now, and then <laughs> and then you know, Jungle Cruise. Jungle Cruise. No, I don't know. People always it. make those those comparisons. Yeah, right. You know, like they're like shitting on Space Jam, and like the movie is made for three year olds. You know, like mm-hmm. I don't I don't expect to see Space Jam, uh, you know, Chinatown. You know, like <laughs> so, right. But but um, yeah, I'm gonna use a movie from 50 you know, fucking but years ago. I, I got the reference. Yeah, but yeah, it, yeah. I guess in Space Jam there was all these uh, like there was all these like different Warner Brothers characters in the background and like yeah, it's pretty these, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that would be funny if there was Jack Nicholson from. Chinatown. Chinatown in the background. It's yeah, like, yeah. Hey. <laughs> I mean, dude, anyone. There was like henchmen from all the Batman movies. What like, about Bob? Yeah, was he in there? Uh, Bob. The oh henchman? yeah, Bob. Bob was there. Dude. Was he really? There was like a replica of Bob, like a, a guy acting as Bob. But the best is the the weirdest thing is there was the henchman from Batman and Robin, like. And 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 what, those Mr. Freeze. Ones? There's a, a guy acting as Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze in the movie. And then there's the like the guys that like sing with him that are like frozen. You know. Oh, God, I feel like now I have to see it. You have to see that movie. Hey, you know what I found out? What's that? Uh, speaking of cartoons, that more people watched the the pandemic special of South Park than they did the new Wonder Woman. Really? Yes. Wow, dude. And you know what's funny about that too is that I Bravo feel like South Park. Y- yeah, I, I think that like. South Park, that that pandemic special that came out a while ago, I feel like that was like the last like cultural milestone that we all had together. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> you know, Wonder Woman. Uh, I think yeah, I think I'd rather have um, you know eat human shit or something like. Then I mean, <laughs> that was I, I enjoyed the first Wonder Woman. There was like a fun right. chemistry with Chris Pine and it's her. Okay, man. But but you know but the, yeah, I felt like that. Yeah, Wonder Woman two. The bar's was, so low. Yeah. You know, it's like, you're like, the bar's so low with all those DC movies. Why are they four hours? I don't know. Why is it four hours? It was four hours of, you know, Pedro Pascal, like, with like everything floating behind him. I can't give you a better description. I don't know, man. That that movie was like totally so strange. Well, enough of that dog shit. (laughs) Some more more dog shit. Jungle Cruise. I have not seen it. Yeah. I would imagine that it would be. Like you said, a, a fun popcorn. It's a movie. fun popcorn movie. Lower your expectations to pretty low because it is. It's a different feel than you'd expect. I kind of thought that it would be like a, a more like Jumanji, or like you know, because more adventure. Yeah, more more adventure. It, it's it's kind of like a B movie, and, and, and I'll do respect. Okay, and, cool. That that that's kind of rad because the jungle cruise jokes are so corny in the ride yeah that i would hope that they would kind of harness that energy and and really put it in the movie yeah it's in there it's in there cool. i mean they have all the classic jokes like um you know your yo mama's so fat she's a fat bitch that uh you know Shit. went to super bowl and brought a, a I spoon love that fucking you know that jo- the, the classic yeah. joker joke cruise or that other joke where it's like hey duck you crackhead you, you quackhead, little fucking tweakgrass bitch. 
<laughs> you know, all the classics are in the movie, yeah. dude. That's yeah. a great part of the ride when The Rock says that on the ride. It's yeah. so good. Yeah. So good. Yeah, no, it's great. Like, hey, you in the wheelchair. No, no, no. <laughs> you know, all those classic Joan Cruz bits are in the movie. So it's great. No, the thing is, is The Rock... The Rock is a charismatic guy, and I remember seeing that on paper, like, oh shit, The Rock and Jungle Cruise. I'm down. I love, I love all the fun movies. You know, the Jumanji movies. Um, you know, I, I think the 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 only thing is that it, there is something lacking a little bit in the movie, and I feel like it is the humor because it's there. But I feel like I felt like they needed if it was gonna be. Um, as like slim as it was, I feel like they needed more of the humor of him being like, kind of, I don't know. You got to see the movie. I think make your own opinion, but you know, I, I would say that it's um, it it's a little different than I thought. And what's cool is the director. Uh, this is a good thing I'll say about the movie. He he's known for um, he's in a lot of like horseshit, but. The two movies I really like of his are his horror movies. He started as a horror movie director. Who is it? And, um, what movies? He, he's, I think he's, uh, I don't want to misquote it, but I think he's Mex- Mexican-American or Mexican. And um, Guillermo del Toro was like a producer on uh, one of his movies, The Orphan. I don't even remember The Orphan, but that was a great horror movie. Um, and then um, it was a more subtle movie. It was like kind of with some heart to it, but it's some scary shit. The Orphan and, uh, and The House of Wax remake which i also thought was underrated that had paris hilton uh but like there was moments in that movie where like oh shit and jungle cruise had like the bad guys in the movie they're not advertised at all Hmm. in any of the marketing Mm -hmm. but they're the coolest part of the movie interesting yeah they're like the raddest thing in the movie it's weird and i kind of like that it's weird Mm -hmm. like it's not necessarily it doesn't the plot is kind of like it's kind of convoluted like it could use a little bit more like sugar in there like a little bit more bubble gum you know but i watched it twice and i actually enjoyed it more the second time mm-hmm. knowing what kind of movie it is right so i don't know i think you should everyone should go see it just to see for themselves and and just have fun with it don't expect you know much but like the 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 there's some elements in there that are pretty badass that i didn't expect it kind of reminded me of pirates mm-hmm. yeah a little bit yeah but Big um, spectacle. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was, it was fun for sure. Do you think it was smart of me to, or do you think I, I got my money's worth when I sold that production team member for the Jungle Cruise movie for fifty dollars? Yes, because right now I'd probably sell for ten. Yeah, maybe ten. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I struck when the iron was yeah. super hot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, yeah. It kind of feels like a movie that you would have seen as a kid that like you may have liked for certain elements and watched it over and over mm-hmm. but then didn't realize later like oh this is kind of <laughs> it kind of missed something like it was well, yeah like kind of like when i fe- saw ready player one i felt like if i saw that movie in 1987 yeah i would have been fucking over the moon yeah with all the references and things like that but i think that there was obviously something that felt a little hollow I think a lot of it has to do with the amount of CG in a lot of these movies. Yes, dude. Yes, and that's unfortunate because yeah, it really does just kind of take you out. Yeah, and there's a lot of it, movie. and 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 I think like you're totally right with that because you think about all the great like action movies that like Robert Zemeckis or all these guys did. Like obviously that's you know they're geniuses, so they know well, how even, to balance that out. But. Even now, when it comes to a lot of the like like for instance, like I didn't really care for the movie, but. Um, the look and feel of the movie of the second s- new Star Wars movie. Oh um, yeah, the that, shit that, of the Jedi. Or, yeah, like yeah. yeah, the shit of the Jedi. Um, Return of the shit. That, or... that movie like felt substantial in a lot of respects. It felt cool. It was cool. Yeah. So you know, I, I understand it. I, yeah. I, yeah, I think I think you should definitely just have fun with it, and it's a fun movie. And I kind of liked that it was a little bit like darker than I thought it would be, which was it was so weird. Yeah, there's some plot twists that I didn't expect. It gets a little convoluted too, but like I don't know, seeing um, yeah, like Paul Giamatti's in it, and I can't tell if he's Italian or Spanish or whatever, but he's kind of like comedic relief, and his skin looks really horrible in the movie, like. It looks like he's not taking the humidity well. It's pretty great. Awesome. Yeah, it looks like my balls in the humidity. <laughs> is, he, is, is that the replacement for Trader Sam? Uh, yeah, no, Trader Sam is like an Italian chick in the movie. Okay. Yeah, so just to spoil that for you guys. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. Yeah, it's, it's whatever. But um, yeah, dude, I think she looks like the sister from The Sopranos, sort of. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. 
I think she's going through her like uh, her voodoo phase. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But uh, anyways, I- I'm excited, man, to to set this up, guys. This is our uh, season two premiere. episode one premiere sneak preview. Yeah. So you'll be getting that in, uh, very soon. But here is a, a clip from episode one, season two, all about Jungle Cruise. So put on your your Catton's hat and uh, enjoy. Enjoy. Did you ever see someone royally fuck up on the job? Like they? Okay. Yeah. I was, I was waiting to tell this story because I love it's. It's a great episode and accident accidental racism. Uh, oh, we, mine, we love these stories. By the way, a friend of mine was. Uh, it's okay. I'm Mexican. It'll work out. Trust <laughs> me. Uh, it was so. It was uh, the boat in front of me. Um, I'm standing there, and it was a girl, and she was doing her doing her bits, and she goes to this family. She goes, "Hey, uh, hey, where are you from?" And then give you blank. Oh wow, that's a long swim, or that's a long walk, or right? <laughs> this family's like, they're like, where are you from? Like, oh, we're from Mexico. She's like, oh, that's a long swim. Oh, <laughs> and I no. fucking died. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, oh what are you doing, you poor God. white girl? What did you just do? Wow. And everyone just went. <gasps> She's like, hit it, Skip. <laughs> and we're off. Wave goodbye to all the people. And oh man, I guess that boat ended up being like super quiet. Oh, no. about it. she didn't get fired, but. Pretty, pretty bad. It yeah, is. that's, that's a, a good one. That's a mistake there for sure. Oh my god, I would have fucking died laughing just for, uh, just out of the I, I died. the whole fucking because it was so it, the fact that it wasn't it. intentional is why it's right. funny. because yeah. it's it's in yeah. it's in the script. So if they would have given her crap, she'd be like, no, this is the joke. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry that I picked the wrong ethnicity to do this to. Right. Yeah, yeah. But you know, other than that, um, like we're from North <laughs> Korea. <laughs> no, um. There was a guy uh, named uh, we na- nicknamed him Wet Willy because he had this habit of uh, spoiler. If you love Disney, close your ears now. You know, Jungle Cruise is on fucking rails, right? Yeah. So if it's <laughs> if there's a single derail, which is kind of fixable, but a double is like crazy and rarely happens. And this guy got like two or three of those double. They call them six shots. Because so if they sh- if you hear if you're walking by Jungle. I hope I don't get sued for this. Fuck. I'm no, this shit. No, no. If you shoot three shots, that means it was an engine failure or like, uh, I think that's a single derail. Mm. Like one rail's off. Four is medical. But if you're six shots, that means the boat's completely off the rails. So you're just drifting Floating. there. Whoa. Wow. One guy got that like three or four times in like a week. So Dude. Whole- Man, hope you guys enjoyed that sneak preview for season two. I know I did. Javi's <laughs> <laughs> the best. Yes, he is. He's great. We're going to have him back again. Oh, totally. Very soon. So, yeah, man, we, we've got some new things going on in the Robert Land world. Uh, we do. Yeah, yeah. We've, we've kind of like started to revamp things, um, change things up, especially with the YouTube channel. I don't know if you guys are listening to this on the uh, just audio only, but we do have two YouTube channels. We're going to be doing more breakdowns. We have a Robert Land clips page, and we also have just a normal full-length episode of Robert Land. We did that specifically because YouTube is a fickle bitch, and you have to kind of pick one or the other, because otherwise your watch time is going to be all fucked up, and certain people will watch the entire thing on on the Robert Land main page, which is going to be all the full-length episodes, but a lot of people just want to watch clips. I personally, when I watch podcasts on YouTube, I don't watch full episodes. I only watch clips. But when I listen to pod when I when I'm gonna listen to a podcast, I don't watch full podcasts on YouTube. But when I, I normally listen to them and I listen to them on the podcast app the iTunes podcast app. Um, and you can find our podcast wherever they're found. I know this yeah. is like weird technical horse shit, but there's a reason why this we did it, it this way and it just makes more sense. So you can find all this shit on the main Robert Land YouTube page. And also, if you want to see the clips, there'll be links to the full episodes on that page as well. So, yeah, dude, check it out, man. We got a lot of fun stuff coming. Excited for you guys to ride this ride with us. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're actually sponsored by the Butt Machine Boys. So, pretty yeah. soon we'll have a machine mm-hmm. plowing us in, in the butthole yep. uh, on Fuck the show. Yeah, dude, it's going to be great. So, yeah, I'm That's excited. That's going to be on our Pornhub page, though. That's yeah, a yeah, whole yeah. different. And we're gonna we're gonna figure out that page pretty soon too. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. There's a few sites, X Hamster, U Jizz. <laughs> um, it's all out there. But uh, thanks, guys, for listening, watching. Um, we love you. Goodbye. Fuck yeah, dude.